And now, how does they, they communicate? How do they communicate those layers? And this is something that varies a lot from implementations of Viper. Because usually, the view controller talks to the presenter, and the presenter talks to the view controller as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a two-way communication. It goes both ways. Bidirectional, yeah. Right? The view controller or the view talks to the presenter. The presenter talks back to the view controller, and they communicate. And then sometimes the presenter even talks to interactors. And sometimes you see implementations where the presenter also talks directly to routers or flows or coordinators. And the presenter starts becoming a bottleneck as well, because now the presenter does too many things. It has too many dependencies. There are other ways of organizing it. If you see that, oh, the presenter is becoming a bottleneck. There are too many things. Like to instantiate a presenter, I need to pass seven dependencies. Like <laughs> I need to create a, two interactors. I need to create a service. And I need to pass it a use case and a view controller and you know, two routers. It start becoming too complex. That's the usual implementation we'll see, the presenter doing too many things. So if you go back to MVC, usually you have massive view controllers in MVC because you end up putting all the logic in the controller. And then you move to MVVM, and usually you put all the logic in the view model now. So it's just moving the complexity to different layers, but you still have massive view model now. Yeah. And with Viper, you usually have a massive presenter. <laughs> yeah. So you need to be careful. Otherwise, regardless of the pattern or template you're following, you have issues. And usually the interactor will talk to the entities to perform the business logic. But another thing that this, the acronym doesn't tell you is how does the interactor talk to the models? At some point, you need to get these models from a web service or you need to get them from a database. And usually here you have the, the services that will provide this for you, like a repository, which is a kind of service. It's usually an interface that lives here with the interactor. Then you have an infrastructure implementation or data repository implementation. And that's an example, right? Could be any database implementation. Be around. Yeah. Now, it's not in the name, the repository. It is Viper. <laughs> right? That's why I like try to follow the acronym template. You end up probably not with good solutions because maybe that's not enough. Maybe Viper, the, the acronym here, one view, one interactor, one presenter, one entity, and one router is not enough. Yeah. You know, because you want to decouple your use cases, your interactors from concrete infrastructure details. So you need to know that it's not just you a presenter, an interactor, and an entity. There's more to it. And if you look yes. at the original definition of Viper, they describe that as like, yeah, this is just a cool acronym. Actually, you will organize those layers, those separations here to whatever makes sense to your application. You're not supposed to follow blindly a template. 